Good morning, everyone. I thought I would show you what a typical day in the life of a missionary could be at UW-Madison with focus. Um, definitely a lot of days look different. So this is a fun day. Um, we're joking around like dad's gone and stuff because all of the priests will be at a convocation uh, with the bishop for the next three days. So there actually, sadly, won't be any mass or priests around, but mission is still there. Um, let's see, clock's right here, starting the day at 5.45. I'm gonna go work out with um, some of my Bible study leader guys. Uh, a great part of this job is to be incarnational which is just to be a true friend, uh, not just to meet up once a week for a Bible study. So I'm gonna go lift and I'll introduce you to those guys when we get here. All right, so um, here is our house. That is the rectory where all 10 of us live. And you can hear the sirens that are going off all the time. Here's Zach. Good morning, everyone. Um, Zach lives down the street and he can attest to all of the sirens all the time. All the time. Um, but yeah, we're going to go to the Nick, which is this brand new gym facility that we're very fortunate to have. Um, yes, there's a fire engine right there. Um, yeah, so let's get after it and we're going to get this workout in. Yep. All right, after a good workout and shower and getting ready, we have one of the most chill parts of the morning, which is a little breakfast before holy hour. Um, we have Steven over here. I got the whey and black coffee. All right, and we got Sam over here. What do you got, Sam? I got the whey as well, just wrong type of whey. <laughs> the whey protein. All right, we're just talking in before morning prayer. Here's our office with Erica, one of my Hello. teammates. Kind of feels like high school because everyone just kind of hangs out and walks around. There's Zach again coming in for prayer um, before the day starts. So, all right, we're going up to holy hour. So, yeah, you pray from 8 to 9 a.m. every day. Um, and I will show you a little about what the chapel looks like. Holy hour went super well, and we have like a little coffee hour behind me. Um, it's kind of like lunch or recess in high school. It feels like. And this is Cam, other hey, first year. What do you have on the docket today, Cam? Um, I am reaching out to some girls that I'm walking with in discipleship. So we're going to kind of schedule when to meet. And I'm meeting with some other girls um, that are juniors. Um, we've got community night tonight with our house. Um, our house is filled with three of our focus missionaries, including myself, and then four interns and three other people who are kind of all over the place. So yeah, yeah, we're gonna have some good food, good time, yeah. Beauty. No masks because our priests are gone, which is so sad. So it's called the dark days. Dark days, <laughs> no rules, fathers are gone. This is my partner in crime, Luke, other guy on? missionary. What do you got on your docket today? Day um, off? Today is my one day off of the week, kind of day off. We don't really, hashtag no days off. No. Nope. Nope. <laughs> so, uh, no sleep for the I'll, righteous. Uh, I'm reading a nice Padre Pio book. Um, and then I'm probably going to plan a little bit for Bible studies. Um, and maybe go on a nice walk along the lake and make some phone calls. So, yeah. be a wrestle day. We got the Knights meeting tonight. Knights meeting. Knights of Columbus. Yeah, they're probably throwing the Packers game. Yeah, that's yeah. our <laughs> community night. Oh. 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 
All right, um, now the morning coffee's done. Everyone went to work and I am going to reach out to a bunch of Bible study guys um, to start a Bible study and then talk to my discipleship group who are all Bible study leaders um, just to talk about logistics of meetings, talk about how to lead a Bible study and everything that goes along with that, um, just getting to know them better. So it's the second week of classes. There aren't Bible studies starting today. Our first one is tomorrow. So it's exciting. And here's the setup. There's Cam. We're starting to work real hard, real hard. All right. Well, we got a lot of work done and Deacon Burt came in. And so Cam and our other co-worker Helena are giving him a tour of the building before his talk at noon and so Erica and I are gonna go pray a rosary and offer it up for his talk and all the students. Okay and we're about to go up for the talk and this is my team director our boss for focus Olivia. Hello. What are you working on? Three things at once. I am prepping discipleship with some girls that I have tonight is the main thing. Yeah. And are you excited for this talk with Deacon Burke Silvers? Oh, I'm pumped. We're talking about God's mercy, and that's my favorite thing to talk about. So we're going to head up all five flights of stairs and go to get lunch and listen to the talk. Out here in the Great Hall is where we're going to be having Deacon Burke talk. There's the man himself. And Max and the intern team and Cam hey! made us lunch. What'd you make, Max? We're making BLT. BLT. Do you want to introduce the rest of your team here? This is Audrey, first year freshman outreach intern. Yes, sir. Carly Olson is the Alpha Omega retreats yes, and other know. things. Intern two. <laughs> That's Cam, first year focus missionary. And filling up the water, the pitcher, the sink is Margo Tucker, Woo! RCIA hey. coordinator, and Brad YP. I like it. We just got out of Deacon Burke Silver's talk and we're actually on the fifth floor of St. Paul's and has like the best views in Madison. Um, and here's Bryce, he's um, a junior this year. Nope. And, um, Bryce actually just came into the church this Easter, uh, finding his faith here at St. Paul's. And so what do you think of this talk, Bryce? Uh, it was an incredibly powerful talk. Um, he had a great testimony um, and a powerful story about about mercy and how God uses us as instruments of his mercy and uh, I mean for me it's also cool because he was born in Barbados and it's always cool for me to meet Catholics who have come from all over the world um, and just see how universal the church is and uh, it was great um, gave me a lot to think about it's awesome thanks Bryce all right, now after the talk, uh, I was late, so I apologize again, Matt, uh, right. for getting lunch, but we just went to Potbelly's and talked about your Bible study. That's right. Are you excited for that? Oh, what are I'm your thoughts? for it. Yeah, just ready to get going, share, share the gospel with others, really pumped to get going. I love it. What'd you get at Potbelly? Oh, I got an Italian sub. It was nice. <laughs> really, really good food there. So, that's... Um, one thing and now we're off to um you're done for the day yes and i'm gonna go do a podcast with one of our old co-workers we're gonna revive that podcast a little treat today so i'll plug the podcast later in um this video all right now we're about to do a podcast um this is my good friend patrick who has come back hello from the real adult world of having a job yeah. And we right. both worked here last year and did a podcast, which is called CCC, Catholic Conversations and Cocktails. Based on the book, Drinking with the Saints. And today we have a guest on our podcast, Howdy. Sam Larson. What up? <laughs> so, are you excited? I'm so pumped. All right. So just a plug, you should definitely look at this. Um, I'll put the link to this channel in the description of this vlog. All right, it is um, post podcast time and I'm meeting with two of my Bible study buddies. We got Travis and we got Kevin. Hey. 
Um, we're just catching up after the summer. We were in Bible study all last year, and Travis was in my Bible study year before that. And sponsor, I was Travis's sponsor for confirmation. Yeah, and so we are just kind of planning the year as well. What are you guys looking forward to most this year? I don't know. Just getting back active at St. Paul's, like summer off. It's nice to be back. Um, in person classes, just seeing everybody's face again, you know. Uh, being back to uh, the regular, kind of a regular year. So, and of course, Bible study. Yes. Um, and we are at Muya. We're getting uh, uh, late lunch, early dinner. Kind of vibe, probably late lunch. Yeah. We'll probably all three meet again later today. Most definitely. All right, yeah. we'll call it lunch. <laughs> um, so, it's been a great, great day so far and it just keeps going. Yes. All right, we just finished the five cap meeting. We got Ben Gallardi here. We got about 30 other people here. Yeah. Um, it's a quick one, just an hour. This is yep. Joe Rinaldi, good, right, good yeah, friend. So, um, how was that meeting for you, not, Joe? Gotta be shorter than me. Yeah, I'm not meeting was great, as always. Uh, you know what, proud to be a Phi Cap. Proud mm -hmm. to be a Phi Cap. Catholic Men's Fraternity on campus. All right, and now right after the PKT meeting, we're transitioning uh, to the Knights meeting. Yes, very excited. This is Mark. Hello. Intern at St. Paul's and rectory bathroom mate. Yes, bathroom mates. <laughs> Noah's one of the clean ones, so it's good. It's good. Um, are you excited for this community uh, night? Very excited. We've got a great Knights of Columbus meeting coming up here. I think we're going to maybe have a little dual community night and watch the Packers game tonight. I will admit to you, Mission Partners, I'm a Bears fan. However, He's a good sport. I do love watching football. So Get some hot dogs after. Hot dogs. Hot dogs and beans. Beans and weenies, oh. as they say. What a good end to the night. Nothing better. Monday night, baby. All right. Also, here we have Jonah and Jason. How are you guys feeling about this meeting? Dude, we're so excited. Yeah, we're going to have a good, quick first night's meeting. Open it up real good and then watch some football. Super fast. Ultra, like high speed, Henry Keefe style. <laughs> <laughs> Ultra speed. All right, we just finished the Knights of Columbus meeting at eight. This is Max, a great, great Knight of Columbus. Um, this is going to my mission partners for focus. Everyone mission that... partners for focus. We just finished our meeting. <laughs> it's a long, long day sometimes. A... What, what time do you get up? Uh, 5.45. Dude, that's... Father Eric has come back from the Presbyteral Conference. I have. I just am. hanging out with hanging out with the best people in the city of Madison right here. And what are you looking forward to most now? Having a hot dog and watching the Packer game. That's yeah. our community night. So, that's fair enough. it's a great end of the day. Coming out of this game will still be the defense. And, uh, Look at this quarterback. All right, we're standing out here with the lightning tonight. Um, it's raining, but luckily we only have a short walk to get to the Adoration Chapel for um, a little prayer at the end of the night just to say goodnight to Jesus. So I'll just show you guys the chapel and then that's the day. <laughs> 